Good morning, everybody. My name is Osa, and it is Friday, December 23rd. We have a bonus episode of Farming Simulator 22 on Maple Farm. And today, unfortunately, is a contract day. Okay, so June, I haven't done any contracts yet. We can do one day of contracts per month, per my personal rules for this series. And so, the only contracts out there are hay. There's no silage. I don't need silage contracts. Silage contracts are good for money. Hay contracts is good for cow food. Um, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, we're not swathing any of the grass because we have to tend it. I don't think this has no PTO on the back, so we can't run any extra equipment off it. And I will be doing, oh, sorry, a lot of work with workers today. So as soon as this is on the field, I'm going to set it off doing its thing. Um, I will then probably go back to our farm, grab the small messy Ferguson, and we'll run the tether off of that. Um, they've given us a merge max, so I can run um, the uh, merge max possibly with our, um, our little... Um, Doids. And then finally, we have to bail it. I think they gave us a square baler. Um, so then the choice is, do I run a small baler? Um, or, the, just, sorry, run a round baler. And um, do everything that way. Or do I run a their big square baler? Um, obviously running the square baler means that we don't have to keep stopping to unload it and um, they've given us a square bale carrier as well so we can transport 14 bales at a time um, I would prefer I, in, in certain situations I prefer to run with a round baler and then my I have a, my own uh, bail delivery truck wagon thing but we'll see anyway let's get this over here back it off a ways so I want to get the front mower on the edge and off you go and with workers oh shit, shit stop Stop, stop, stop. Okay. What I didn't do was... With conditioner. That is the thing I keep forgetting. So... Um, I must run with conditioner. The reason is, is because um, worker tedders do not or haven't in the past seemed to like uh, tedding normal, yeah, uh, what's it, fresh grass. They'll take conditioned grass, but they won't do fresh grass, so I need to make sure we do that the right way around. Anyway, we'll get the Massey Ferguson down to the uh, store. Sometimes I'll do uh, borrowed equipment on two of the contracts that I take, which then means that I can uh, um, I've got a few more tractors available although typically with tedding contracts if they give you if they give you the big M they give you a big Fent 900 um, which is good for running things like the uh, the baler but completely overpowered when it comes to running a tedder or stuff like that. If you take a contract with a tractor you get one small tractor um, with a, a sort of a single mower at the back of uh, or some, yeah, 
mower off one side and a single front mower, but it's it's kind of like getting a one of these or something in the 160 range that it does the job but you only get one tractor and sometimes for stuff like this you need a few tractors as we will see shortly so uh, weather outside is horrible um, it snowed there's maybe inch inch and a half um, of the one to three inches that were expected last night however we are seeing winds up to 50 miles an hour at times so we're getting kind of blizzard conditions but not significant snowfall um, I believe it's due to snow from now until Sunday morning with an inch every half day so two inches Friday two inches Saturday uh, no inches Sunday just snow um, so insignificant snow at the moment it's not actually snowing so there's a lot of no snow with patches of probably about an inch of snow during the course of the next few days so it's not a bad winter yet <coughs> but it will be a white Christmas oh you know what I need to do here so yeah we've got the Arcusen bale thing stacker um, which as I've said in the past is not especially ideal for this type of uh, map where most of the sheds are small. Okay, I'm going to repair you. Um, and I'll repair you just because. Okay, and we can jump back in the tractor. Okay, tractor's back to 100%. I mean, one of the problems we do have now is our tractors are wearing out quite quickly at 53 hours. So definitely, definitely preferring having a wooden, no, no rug in here, in the office. Um, I, I still don't know if we're getting an echoey sound um, on the stream. Because um, obviously carpet does dampen um, the echo, so that that might be an issue, and I'll let somebody tell me in chat, either here or on YouTube. Um, I don't know that I can do much about it, but I might be able to look into solutions if I know I need to. As for how much streaming I'm going to do today, I'm not entirely sure. Um, we have had a major worry over the last few days. Um, and I don't know whether folks have heard of being sick with worry. Um, that's actually a thing. Oh, sorry. And. Um, I really haven't done much in the way of eating, sleeping, or anything in the last couple of days. So, as I said, we are going to go with this for as long as I can. I mean, obviously, not being able to sleep is uh, made me tired, but the only sleep I've been able to get in the last few days is... Um, Drops at the front, drops at the back. Um, is exhaustion sleep? Okay, there will be some outside of field grass cutting at this point because I'm not as selective as the worker is. But it allows us to catch a little extra grass um, what else
else is happening. Um, not a lot else I can say about various things going on. I forgot to check my blood sugar this morning. Oh no, I didn't actually. No, blood sugar's a little bit lower than my normal um, sugar stream levels. So, uh, obviously the not eating is having an effect there. Not sure if a worker tether will pick up the uh, edge of field grass here or beyond edge of field grass, should I say. Okay, we'll lift that up. Probably need to fold it to extricate myself from this field. Ooh. Okay, so this is the next one. Then we'll do the big one to the right. And then there's another one in this area as well. to Lassie Ferguson, get that one started. Dude, move forwards, if you missed the post. Uh, oh, you didn't find a field, okay. How about now? So yeah, as you can see, that does not work on the greenest of the grass. So what I need to do here is back up, lower it, turn it on. Now the fortunate thing here is we've got this set to produce, what, excuse me, uh, tether stage nine. Condition. Okay, let's go conditioned grass. So we convert all of this grass here into conditioned grass. There we go. That fixes our uh, whoops, did it wrong. Then we change condition to. Oh, I see. So base game turns conditioned grass to hay. And that just converts any grass to hay. Okay, now if I set the worker to work, we should end up with just hay produced. That does look a lot like hay. Okay, I want to check the merge max. Oh, I haven't checked sales yet. There's a Vermeer's round baler, which very well. There's a skid steer. My goodness, we have so much of the small lifter equipment coming up. We already have the the tiny old JCB telehandler, so I don't actually need another one. Um, anyway, I was going to look up um, windrows. So the one they gave us is this 140 horse. Oh, yeah, we have more than adequate. Why aren't you doing anything? Because I didn't tell him to. Well, that was me. That's all on me. Okay, that's the one I want. So yeah, of course the pro the, the advantage with producing round bales is that um, I can keep I can use my equipment to produce the round bales and then I can claim the contracts as they're completed. Under this situation, I can claim the contracts except the one for which I've borrowed the equipment. 
because I don't have a square bale collector or stacker. <coughs> and if I want an easy way of transporting the bales from all of the fields, I do need to make sure that I have the transportation equipment available. Yeah, I could lift bales on the back of my Roland trailer, but, you know, sometimes doing it yourself, yeah. Sometimes doing it with equipment is easier, especially with the amount of bales I'm expecting to produce today. And of course with the merge max we can double merge rows so that um, we end up with fewer rows. Actually that's, well, I think the general problem I find with doing that is the um, uh, the round baler fills so quickly that um, I'm constantly stopping. At least with a square baler, you can just drive through. Now, conversely, um, you can transport more with a round baler. Now, if I'm using a, a standard tether, our rake is really nice for tedding grass because while it does end up creating a lot of rows you're not you know three seconds into the round baler and you've got to unload it okay i'm gonna fix this one as well come on there we go don't commonly repair the arms, but uh, I think it's probably a good deal. And yes, I am using the uh, the reduced maintenance costs thing. Okay, now. Mrs. Osa's sleeping in this morning. She also hasn't had a lot of sleep in the last couple of days. And um, she was due to get her staples out today, but uh, probably not happening due to the snowstorm, which means she's having to wait until next week for that. Um, I did start this game day at um, 6 o'clock because I had a lot of products to deliver. So I, think, I think this field we cut as um, ooh, stuff, um, silage last month. Uh, Terminal merger, unfold merger, work mode left. might want this on right because of the position in the field that we're starting. No, lower merger, fold merger, turn on merger. Um, I need the other help. Um, come on. Oh, maybe I have to lower it first. Top 
on the map, toggle hands control, select your work when it is left. Really? Okay, we need to check the keyboard. Vehicle. Vehicle work. Work mode left, work mode right, work mode middle. Left shift and O. Okay, let's try that. Left shift and O. Oh, looky there. Magic. Magic. Okay, we figured that out. And that is completely different from all of the other pieces of equipment we have where you toggle that sort of thing. Okay, I'm going to leave you there. And we're going to check in on the Massey Ferguson, which has somewhat mostly completed. Alrighty. Uh, turn it on, lower it down, and off we go. So as I'm finding with most of our equipment, and possibly the margin on the edge of the fields, um, we have to go around the field once after each um, each task so I'm gonna have to go around the field with the mower to run the edges and before I can run the uh, tether on the second contract field and, uh, hmm. let's move over a bit there we go okay we'll get this bit done Where's the mower? Okay, the mower thinks it's finished. I'm not entirely sure it has. I should be able to put the Merge Max on auto as well. Which we will do. And... We'll fold that. So we're getting we're getting a move on. That's good. Do you really want me to walk around the machine? Okay. I can turn the help text off. Right. Of course, somewhat of a thing here which I'm I generally forget about is the uh, the mower or all equipment will turn itself off when the uh, the worker leaves. So uh, yeah, I have to keep remembering to turn it back on again every time we uh, want to move on. Lift that. And obviously the starching edge I'm getting as close as I can to where I actually want things to happen so we don't have to uh, do this edge I just have to do all the rest of them okay close enough for jazz and we missed a bit what I think is probably a little bit close to that front hedge. I 
I think we did okay. So I was, I was actually hoping to have this uh, particular session just the last bit of picking up the bales and uh, um, getting on to uh, July. Uh, but due to issues this week, not being able to do that. So we are now at the point of I'm having to do all of the grass work in today's stream. That should mean tomorrow will be a harvest day for at least some of our fields. I think the wheat might be ready um, and the oats. Okay. Okay, he's on his way. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Oh, next one is actually, you know what? Uh, that's on. That's tedded. You can get to work. And then we'll take this one. thinking I'll use the Fent for, um, for baling and we'll use our John Deere for carting. Okay, that's doing its thing. I think most of the time baling equipment is set up for um, the middle sized bale. Basically because when you're wrapping bales the wrappers or the mobile wrappers provided only support small and large of the type of bale you're wrapping. Small or medium, yeah, round or square. So that means that um, bale size 220, we can run 240 as hay because we don't need to wrap it. Not sure what horsepower this tractor is. Kind of the same size, you know, within reason of the uh, the John Deere that we have. Although our John Deere is a a large uh, largest, might be the largest engine the John Deere can run, and this is probably running. Well, it's a contract vehicle; it's running the smallest engine. We okay, and here we are. AI worker blocked. Really, that looks to be well. Let's back that out of the field. We'll turn the engine off. And you're blocked because there's a wooden post in front of you. Of course there is. Now, I think the next turn this tractor will try to make is a right one. So, I'm going to run over here. And again, head down the field with it. 